So for some of us, Fortnite is in a weird state right now, um, specifically with the rarity being removed entirely from the game in terms of the cosmetics. And it feels a little slimy. And, uh, you know, for a lot of people, they agree with this being a bad thing. But for the most part, Fortnite has not been consistent with their prices for so long. And I finally spoke up about it this past Saturday with the Hell outfit and refusing to purchase it, which I haven't done in over six years. I've purchased everything, no matter what I thought about it, good or bad, overpriced, underpriced. I've always purchased everything. And I finally stopped doing it. And I don't know what made me do it on this past Saturday. I was in a great mood. I had a great day. And I just decided like enough was enough. And for the longest time, I've been part of the problem with continuing to purchase overpriced cosmetics in the game. And I apologize, you know, but now I'm trying to speak out about it. Now, clearly with all of our knowledge of purchasing things in the past, we can still attach a rarity to something the way it is priced. You know what I mean? If it's a 1500 V-Buck outfit, we can assume it would have been associated with the epic rarity in the past, just as an example, you know? So it's not like we're not going to know what everything is priced. I do miss the rarity because my locker is in shambles in terms of it's just all alphabetical order unless it was some of these special Star Wars series, Marvel series, etc. Simply put, though, even though it's going to rub a lot of people the wrong way, if you like something and you think it's worth it, do what you want with your money. If you see something that you don't like and you don't associate yourself with and you can live without, don't buy it. Easier said than done, but literally that's what we have to do moving forward. Recently, with this Avatar collab, which I really, really enjoy because I loved the show when I watched it, I think the cosmetics are overpriced. And now we don't even get to see what the rarity would have been in the item shop anymore. So do I think it's worth 2000 I do not think the individual outfits are worth 2000 each. Now, it might have been possible if each outfit had the appropriate bending ability in terms of an emote. Like if Zuko had the fire emote that came with him with fire bending, great. If Katara had the uh, water bending ability emote, would have been great. If Toph had the earth bending ability, would have been great. Something. Now, the emote is overpriced as well. You can see here, 500 V-Bucks. It's, it's funny. You can relate to it if you've seen the show, but it's not worth 500. And if we're going to nitpick it anyways, Aang is facing the opposite direction. He's facing his left, not facing his right. So it is what it is. So what's also interesting is the bundle here doesn't include Toph for a discounted price. And even the pickaxes within all of these packs... All have a default impact, cell shaded impact. Nothing special about the impacts. Um, no edit styles for the outfits. Not that I think they necessarily need something for an edit style because they really don't change their clothing all that often in the show, anyways. But I just I don't agree with the price point here. I don't know what my channel looks like moving forward, and I'm. It sucks that I feel guilty for getting this early because I'm part of the Epic Partner Program that gets cosmetics early from time to time. And I shouldn't feel guilty because I fucking earned this. I have earned this privilege to get cosmetics early from time to time to promote before they release. And I felt so guilty yesterday because I didn't agree with the price point and still got them all for free that I gave away a 5,000 V-Buck code on my Twitter. I felt that bad that how am I going to take a stance on something and then get it for free anyways, and just go on with my day. So I'm glad that I do have a little bit of a presence in the Fortnite community to speak out about these things that we don't agree with. Um, although I don't believe I have a huge footprint in the community, I still have a little bit of presence to speak out on these things. Moving forward, I don't know what my content's going to look like if I'm not purchasing everything new anymore. Um, I've you know, considered the last few days, like just getting away from reviewing cosmetics in the game. If I can't consistently buy them, then why, why am I going to do it? So I don't know what it looks like moving forward. We're going to have to figure that out. I'm going to really have to challenge myself and my creativity to create content other than before you buys. So we're going to see what the future looks like, but 
I appreciate the support, guys. As always, Epic Games, thank you for the Avatar Cosmetics full free. This is Zuko in game. So Zuko is a firebender from the Fire Nation. We're gonna use a glider that I think goes great with fire and it's not too aggressive and it will look good with a cell shaded skin. And then the wrap is very expected, <laughs> skull fire. So without any spoilers, Zuko is a jerk for sure. But it may surprise you to find out what happens later in the season. So the harvesting tools, yes, they do visually unequip here. I know it's a little confusing if you don't realize that the handles are split in half and there are two blades within the back wing as well. So you can even tell by the handles in his hands that yes, they are split in half to create two blades. ADS is fine here. No problems there. The glider should look great. Now, again, this is just being safe with a cell shaded outfit because this isn't a super highly, like high def detailed glider that you can pair it with something cell shaded and it looks great. And it is a really fun theme as well because Zuko is from the Fire Nation. Now, equip unequip. Nothing here. No colors. It would have been a little interesting, clearly, if the cosmetics for each outfit were more pertaining to the nation they are from and the abilities they possess. Unfortunately, it's all pretty much the same here, and that's kind of why I don't believe it's worth the 2,000 anyways, but hitting opponents here. Of course, they sound like blades. Um, we kind of expected that, and then the emote as well, even though he's not an airbender. Air flurry. So I definitely copped out on the cosmetics in the gameplay here. We are using Korra's weapon wrap and Korra's glider, which is actually some of the best cosmetics in terms of the avatar stuff we have lately. And they're essentially free 99 with the battle pass, you know? So those cosmetics were done so well. Harvesting tools, back bling, contrail. The glider could have been better, but the outfit with the Edda style too, like was done so much better than these. And like, I really enjoy these though. And I don't, I didn't even watch the Korra show at all, The Legend of Korra. I watched the Avatar Last Airbender and I think those cosmetics were done so much better and they were essentially dirt cheap with the battle pass. You know what I mean? Equip, unequip. It's got a flick here, but nothing really here. Visually, I would say a light gray purple streak here, at least with hers. But the impact, maybe, you know, water related impact, possibly. Zika could have had a little bit of like a flame sound or a flame contrail on his blades, even though his blades are not made of fire. I'm just saying. I'm just saying here. It does sound good hitting opponents. I did enjoy that. The emote as well, air flurry. Even though she is a waterbender, she is doing an airbending ability. And without the back bling, the hair physics are definitely there. The ponytail is no longer stiff, so that is good to know as well. So Toph is an earthbender, but she is also blind, which means her senses are very strong, which is how she senses dangers around her. And her back bling here, well, she's pretty much like an arena champion with battling other people, earthbending, etc. So it's like a championship belt. That's what that pertains to. Um, again, it would have been nice, some type of emote to further showcase like earthbending. And even with the harvesting tools that she has, I am using the Tusk Glider. This is the bootleg Oppa Glider coming later this week from Avatar. But it would have been nice, something more, uh, I guess, specialized for their emotes, etc. Open equip. They sound heavy. Nothing really here. Impact. Pretty average. Pretty default. Now she is shorter than this in the show. Obviously she couldn't be short, but she is way bigger than she needs to be <laughs> in terms of Fortnite size. Okay, and then the emote with her, even though she is not an airbender, air flurry. Okay, 
So in a nutshell, that is the Avatar Cosmetics. I think Zuko, in my personal opinion, is the most worth because of the visually unequipping from the back bling aspect with the tools. Other than that, I just would have liked to have seen a little bit more done for the nations they come from, fire, water, and earth, you know? It, it just doesn't seem like enough for the price point. With that being said, support your creator, P-I-Z-0, Pizza with the zero. If you think it's worth it, buy it. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you on the live stream. See you.